Hey there guys and welcome back to Prototype. In the last episode, Alex got super power draining cancer. And it freaking sucks. Man, you look like shit, but this might help. Look, Mon. No, but they're watching someone for him. Okay, it's this doctor named Bradley Ragland. Where is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a good guy. Okay, you find him. He helps us get to McMullen. He's uptown at St. Paul's Hospital. He runs the morgue there. Wait, wait, hold up. There's more. All right, so I did some research on uh, Hope, Idaho. It, it was an army town. On July 21st, 1969, it vanishes from the map. The official word was that it was an anti-government gun nut standoff. Some militia killed a bunch of people, and the feds killed the militia. Now, there was only one survivor. Notice a girl, second from the left. Elizabeth Green. Who looks an awful lot like a college student these days. Not bad for 55 years old. Hope Idaho was an experiment. How could you possibly know that? The people I've killed, they're in me. I can hear them, see the things they've what the done. What the fuck are you talking about? I can understand it all. I'm supposed to do these things, but it's right. I can feel it. Find Ragland. And ask him about McMullen. Okay, that was slightly disturbing. I guess she's kind of afraid of Alex now. Because he's a psychopathic serial killer, murderer kind of guy. Oh, my back. Feels like it's beating on me. Damn, that's a huge ass tumor he's got on his back there. And it's glowing. You know shit's gonna hit the fan when you have tumors that start glowing. Then again, I'm pretty sure actual tumors don't do that. Should ask a buddy of mine, he's a medicine student. Think he knows. Ooh, another hint token. Okay, hint token, what common knowledge are you going to show me? Seriously, how to throw stuff. I've been doing that since episode one. Jeez, long ass hint. And I can't continue until the text is all there, that freaking sucks. And I think I've seen that already. So wait, I get two hints for the price of one? Sweet. And, jeez, there's a landmark collectible up there. Jersey Boys. I think I've heard of that, but I don't really know what it is. It's like Jersey Shore? Now that I doubt. Anyway, Morgue is pretty far away. Jeez, it's still not even getting any closer on the minimap, and it seems to be in the bad part of town. How is it this doctor guy is still alive if his, if his hospital is in the bad part of town? Oh, yep, there's some uh, people fighting near a hive. Probably want to stay the hell away from that for now. I mean, normally I'd be all about kicking ass, but it's not what we're supposed to be doing. So I'm just going to keep on running towards the hospital. Without any of my awesome powers. I missed them already. And no, we are not getting them back in this episode. Oh wait, what? Oh, you have to buy a specific upgrade to do this mission? Wow, that sucks. Now, it's a good thing I have... Well, I have a crap ton of experience points, actually. But if you don't have any experience points, and you need 24,000 to get that upgrade, then you're screwed. You're gonna have to run around, do random stuff to get experience so that you can buy that upgrade and progress with the story. That is freaking stupid. Let's see, I have a crap ton of experience. Let's buy something else. Air recovery, sprint speed. It'll help me get to the missions faster, so it's always good. Jump upgrade. I don't know about the jump upgrade. What do we have here? Ooh, health boost and regeneration boost. I think I'm gonna get that. Faster regeneration, I'll take it. And now I don't really have that many experience points anymore, so I think that's all we're gonna buy for now. Now excuse me while I take a sip of my drink. So I've been having some throat aches lately, so I have to drink a lot. <sighs> I 
All right, good as new. Let's see what this mission is all about. Odd structures in the bridal lobe resembling parasitic infection. Dr. Raglan? I already said I won't deal with you people. My medical opinion's not for sale. I'm impressed. What is it you want exactly? Your help stopping the virus. Why? You could say I'm symptomatic. So pick a side. I'll tell you what I know. But first, we need to find where the military has Patient Zero. Ah, uh, threatening people into working with you. That never, ever, ever goes wrong. Okay, the bodies from the first outbreak are the key. Blackwatch Spectres took them. Find the Spectres, find the bodies. Maybe I can find some answers. Sounds simple enough, I guess. But of course, whoa. Geez, I guess with the new sprint speed upgrades, he's kind of wonky to control. Oh well. This will help me get across town faster. Because it seems that's what we're going to have to do for this mission. Go all across town. Or maybe not. Maybe we just need to go right up here. Hmm. Okay, not bad. Or forget what I said. We should go right over there. Let's see, can I make the mark? How good is my accuracy? Damn it! I missed it by like two feet. Alright, there's the guy. Hijack an APC, consume a commander. Just any commander? So pretty much every commander knows about where the bodies are. Eh, works for me. Now the bad part is, how am I going to take on a tank without the hammer fists? Oh wait, I can just enter it like this. Oh, okay, never mind then. Come on, open up. There we go. Oh, an explosion and I'm completely unfazed. Now get back in here, you. Well, you kind of clip through the tank there. Kind of awkward. Oh well. What do you know? Lieutenant Steven Varish? Is he, like, in every tank? That'd be weird. Captain Lim! At ease, trooper. Get on the horn and tell them we've secured the Penn Station bodies. I'm taking the heavy armor to destroy a hive. Get control points up in this area, then rendezvous with us at Gentech. Yes, sir. Of course, they're at Gentech. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, that's their headquarters, after all. So why wouldn't the bodies of Patient Zero... Or patience zero be there. But wait, we have to locate Captain Lim. Okay, so I guess we have to go and get Captain Lim first and then go to Gentech. Eh, works for me. Oh, oh no, 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 I thought it was a web of intrigue target, but it's just a guy calling for a strike team. In which case, I just need to keep on running. Because without the whip fist, my ability to take on helicopters is also severely crippled. So basically, you're nothing without your powers in this game. And honestly, I've done a lot of butchering in this episode. As in, cutting out parts of the video simply because this episode was like 25 minutes long and I died four times on this mission because I didn't have any powers to fight off tanks and the mutated gorilla creatures with. So I died. A lot. Hence, a lot of cutting stuff out because I don't want to talk about the same things twice. And you probably don't want to watch the same things twice. Okay, strike team evaded. That's nice. And here we have destroyed the Black Watch Spectre vehicles without the hammer fist. So I guess that's going to be chucking taxis. And okay, I know that... New York has like an insane amount of taxis, but seriously, on this street alone, there's like 20. Do I have any New Yorkers watching this? Are there really that many taxis in New York? Something I'd be interested in knowing, I guess. I haven't had the chance to go to New York and figure it out for myself yet. Maybe someday. Chopper down. I guess this works. 
if the tank isn't immediately blown up by someone. Oh, hey, Hunter. I'll consume you, thank you. Can use the health boost. There we go, back to full health. Alright, there was a tank here a moment ago, but where did it go? Why was I grappling that thing in midair? Freaking invisible car or something. Alright, give me the taxi. Ay, damn it, I was gonna use that. Who's shooting at me from somewhere? It must be the helicopter. Damn it! I missed the whip fist. Unarmed combat sucks. Just wimpy punches and dive kicks that don't nearly go where you want them to go. Also, I'm almost dead. Can I just consume you quickly? You there. Damn it! Well, oh, man, I am going to... Yeah, I'm gonna die for the first time here. There we go. Well, shit. Alright, time for a jump cut. Doo -dee -doo, here we are. While driving around, I'm, uh, I stumbled upon this web of intrigue target, so... Push the taxi out of the way, we're gonna eat this guy right next to the GameStop ad. Travis Morgan. Okay, Travis, what do you know? Karen, let me help you. We're all in very deep here. There's only one way out. Cooperation. And if you assist us, you're free and clear. A ticket anywhere you want, and a top-level assignment. And if you don't, there's nothing I can do for you. Listen, Karen. Whatever he is now, he's not the man you knew. He's something else. I want a lawyer. Okay, so here we are again in the middle of the fray, and I guess Karen's betrayal wasn't entirely, like, willing. She was kind of pushed slash threatened into betraying Alex, I guess. So maybe we don't need to find her and kill her after all. Although, if I remember correctly, you don't actually do that in this game. She just kind of vanishes, which is a problem that a lot of the supporting characters in this game have. Like, in the end, you kind of know what happens to Alex, but you have no clue what happened to any of the other characters that are still alive at the end. Or, if they're still alive at the end. Anyway, so one thing I missed the first time around is that there's guys with rocket launchers up on the rooftops and those things can kill tanks in like two shots. So that's what I was missing and damn it, missed him just in the nick of time. Otherwise that strike team would not be coming for my ass right now. Oh, karate kick. That was pretty cool, I must say. No, I wasn't targeting you. Oh, okay, someone else blew him up for me. Thank you, chopper that's right behind me, I guess. Another problem, you can't do the jump kick twice per jump. Like, you can only do it once. Then you have to drop down to the ground and do it again. Jump up again, kick again. Really inconvenient, especially because most choppers will fly up to avoid you after the first kick. If it doesn't kill them. And yeah, I'm about to die again. Come on. There's no civilians up here for me to... Damn it. Did the chopper just fly into me as well? Okay. Oh, we'll respawn right here. Okay, I can do that. Just go for the rocket launcher. Wait, I'm already holding a rocket launcher. And I'm still incognito. Perfect. Shoot the hunter. There's nothing suspicious about that. Yeah, okay, they shoot him for me. That's nice. Now, while all this is going on, I need to discuss something else regarding the Osiris Wrath LP and why there hasn't been a new episode of that yet. Up next is Osiris Wrath Episode 5. However, I've recorded and. Yeah, I've recorded Episode 5 at least five times, and for some reason, the file gets corrupted every time. Like maybe I'll make an announcement video about it later, showing where it actually goes wrong or what goes wrong. But it's just really weird. It's just the sound gets all out of sync. 
and it kind of makes the episode unwatchable. Well, the graph, the video footage is fine, but the audio is just all messed up. So, I don't know what the cause is, and I don't know how to solve it, so until I do, Osura's Wrath is kinda on hiatus, I guess. Damn it, I wanted to consume him. Alright. Still a couple more tanks remaining. Why not I kill? Okay, now the thing's dead. You know, those things keep reminding me of, um... The things in Metal Gear Solid. I think they first showed up in Metal Gear Solid 2, the... I don't know what they're called, the, the thing that Snake uses in his uh, recovery move in Smash Brothers, like he hangs on to the thing to fly up. They really look like those. And again, they're probably based on the same piece of military technology or something. If something like that actually exists. Can't say I've ever seen it in real life, or heard of it. But I guess it's possible to make one of those things, it kinda looks like just a miniature helicopter blade in the middle to keep it afloat. And I'm probably rambling on about other... Never mind. There's two more tanks. Make that one. If I'm reading the minimap correctly. Need another rocket. Up here there's probably another rocket. I haven't really gone up this building yet. Whoa crap! How did they miss me? I was at like point blank range and they still managed to miss me. That's kind of weird. Oh well. And I'm about to die again. Sweet. Okay. If I can just re. Damn it. Helicopters can get anywhere. Must find a place to hide. Oh, here. I can consume some people. Alright. Damn it. Freaking helicopters, man. To find cover. Here, I'll hide behind a car. Because cars are not at all bulletproof. Well, that sucked. Reset the checkpoint. And I just cut again because that was right where we were last time. So here we go, destroyed all the tanks. And now there's the Blackwatch commander. So we need to go and consume him. And then this torment will finally be over. Well, we still won't have our powers back, but at least this mission will be done. I mean, jeez. Playing this game is hard if you don't have any of your awesome superpowers. Alright. I will eat you, Commander Kim. Sounds like an Asian name. And yet his first name's Eric. That doesn't sound Asian at all. Sir, Director McMullen surrendered the bodies to a civilian. Ragland? Yes, sir. You did the right thing, son. Your new orders are this. Recover all samples, bodies, and evidence from Dr. Ragland. Bring them to base AE-1. Ragland? If he doesn't interfere, leave him be. He's already implicated. He won't talk. And McMullen, sir. It's time for the doctor to learn who's in charge of this little excursion. Okay, so Ragland had the bodies and the military took him and took him to this military base somewhere. So I guess that's where Raglan's gonna send us in the next mission. Oh yeah, we get another flash forward. Been wondering, we haven't had one of those in a while. It was perfect. They used Karen to get to me. Used the genetic material I'd collected to make a weapon to try and take me out. By the time I discovered she was working for Blackwatch, she was gone. But I had a bigger problem. A weaponized cancer was eating me from the inside out. I needed a doctor, okay? A special kind of doctor. I needed... Ragland. How does it feel to be infected with something you couldn't control? Like my own body wanted me dead. Did you ever consider how the parasite felt? An intelligent cancer ripped from its host? Yeah, I did. Once. Right before I killed it. I don't know who this guy is, but why would he be worrying about Alex's cancer? And apparently the cancer is intelligent, so he has like a second brain on his shoulder now. Day 8 of infection, 49% of Manhattan is infected. It's like millions of people. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode of Prototype. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.